Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be going over the water, okay? Now, a lot of people, uh, you know, I made this video with Exodus, and it got quite a bit of views, and a lot of people were like, bro, how do I make it move? How do I animate the water? Like, I don't want it just to be still in my game. And uh, there's a lot of people in the comments saying just use beams, all right, which is right here. This is how we would do it. Basically, we have a part right here and a part right here. They have an attachment in each of them. I just named them top and bottom. And then the beam is in one of the parts. Now, here's the attachments. It goes from here to here. So, I mean, we could just move that attachment. Uh, you don't necessarily need the part. I just have the part for demonstration purposes. So, we have two attachments and a beam. Now, the beam right here, go to uh, shape and then attachment zero and attachment one. And you just click on this. And then you click on the attachment it should go to. All right. So that's how you set the beam up. And you could change everything about the beam. I mean, if you wanted to make this like red, you know, you could do really anything you want with it. So changing color and everything like that, not a big deal. But let me show you what I'm not a fan of of using beams for okay so let's just copy and paste this guy and i'll just group this one for demonstration purposes and i'm gonna move it over here okay now i built this map uh a few videos ago all right using someone's asset pack uh and that is available actually it's up on the patreon if you guys want to check it out it's only three dollars so if you want to support your boy go hit up the patreon okay but here's why i'm not going to use beams i'm going to show you real quick uh, the main reason not to use beams, uh, just because, yes, it is a bit easier, but it doesn't look great at all, to be fair. So, we're gonna grab this, and we're gonna bring it down, just so it's here. And keep in mind, I don't have all the rest of the water layers. It would look better with all the layers of water and everything like that as well. Uh, and I could put those on if, if you guys insist, okay? Alright, so we got the model, and now we have to make it big enough to fit this whole map. Because what, what's good in water if it doesn't fit your whole map? So right here, we're going to go to width, and I'm going to just type in like 50, okay? We'll see how that is. Not at all close enough. So maybe 300? Too big? 250 should do us good. Still a little bit big, but it's all good. Uh, let me try 200. 200 should work. All right, and now we're going to change the other one to 200 as well. There we go. And as you can see, we have animated water on our map. Now, of course, this is very, very, very fast. So I will go ahead and go to texture speed. Just slow this guy down. All right, something like that. But it's all stretched and weird. And I don't think there's any other way to really go about it, like unstretching the water. So this is the literal only point I have for not using beams. Um, they just, they're really not that cool overall. So now that we got that out the way, let me go ahead and delete this guy and show you guys the way I like to do it with a script. I will show you guys the script so you can just copy and paste it. But right here, you have your water parts. So we have like these four mesh parts. If you missed the video on how to make this, uh, go ahead, just type in how to make cartoon water Roblox, popular water, whatever you want to type in, it'll pop up. And that video will show you guys how to make it and how all this stuff works. But just insert a script into it. Boom. And it's this simple. It's just using tween service, guys. Uh, I'll leave this up on screen. You guys can pause the video or something like that to go ahead and copy this script. Um, in fact, in my Discord server, I will put it in the in the Dev Resources tab. So you guys can just hop into the Discord and copy and paste it from Dev Resources. I think that'd be the easiest way for you guys. And then right here, you could change your texture speed. Um, the bigger you make this number, the slower it'll go, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. <laughs> so there we go, guys. There's the script. If you want to join the Discord and copy it, you can. And you might be saying, bro, it's not moving. Yes, guys, you do have to be running or playing the game. So I'll go ahead and click run real quick. And there you go, guys. Now, greatest part about this let me go ahead and grab all of this stuff so i can kind of show you guys if you were to scale this up for a whole map it doesn't scale up your water okay now of course i'd have to fix this quite a bit because now the uh each layer is a bit too thick and oh oh yikes i kind of messed up <laughs> kind of messed up a lot of stuff over there <laughs> big yikes uh, and I'll go ahead and put this over there to show you guys how it looks as well with the map. So let me go ahead and grab all of these. I'm going to just group them together and move it over to this swamp map. All right, now that we got it over here, I'm going to sink it down. Good, good, good. And scale it up so it fits this whole map. Boom. Perfect. And let me go ahead and fix the water itself because this, it doesn't really look that great. So scale this part down. Let's go ahead and scale this part down as well. And we are going to have to bring them back together so we can, you know, get the good effect. Bring this guy up, scale it up. There we go. And we can scale this guy up to where they are and then scale the bottom of that up too. And there we go, guys. Now, 
if I go ahead and run the game, uh, it, it helps a lot to anchor stuff. Guys, I am, I'm a horrible builder. What am I saying? Now, if I go ahead and run the game, guys, you have this little map right here. Uh, the water could definitely still use some fixing. I could have scaled it even less and made these layers less far apart to give it a better aesthetic. But for the point of the video, making the water move, here's how you do it, guys. Uh, looks pretty good. You can scale it up and it's still like the small texture, so it's really great. And of course, you could change that texture size within the model itself. So you would just go right here, water, and uh, this is how it moves if you're wondering, offset. But right here, studs per tile U and studs per tile V, you can change those to bigger or smaller if you wanted them bigger or smaller. Check it out, 50, and we'll just put this guy up to 50 as well. Boom, that's pretty big, and if you wanted it that big, you could probably use beams anyway. But hopefully this video helps you guys out. Hopefully it makes your builds incredible, looking awesome and all that good stuff. And if you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.